Hi, my name is Dave Orlando with Image Pros, your imaging equipment source. Today I want to do a quick overview of the Scan C, which is manufactured by Scan Ray. I want to start off by talking about the X ray source, which is one of the most important components of the system. The name of the company is CEI. The company's been in business for 65 years. They're the third largest tube manufacturer in the world. They're located in Bologna, Italy. I actually had a chance to visit the plant a couple months back. It's a very impressive facility. It's actually owned by ScanRay, so they keep all the quality control in-house. Uh, they do a very good job um, of, of it, they believe in quality of product versus quantity. So they, they really get the max output of these systems while, while producing the lowest levels of radiation. So this is a high heat capacity, high frequency generator. So I can literally stand on the foot pedal for 10 minutes before the system would need to cool down. They do that through their vacuum patented technology. So what that all means to you is, it, it, when I, I did a little comparison to some of the competitor models a little while back, this system compared to some of the competition. And when I compared the KVMA, uh, a lot of the competitor systems would ramp up their KV and MA as high as they could go to produce better image quality while sacrificing radiation control. This system does the exact opposite. It, they really concentrate on low radiation, and they do that uh, through uh, creating, with the technology, it creates a low ripple effect, which produces higher quality x-ray, which produces better image quality and lower radiation. So when I compared it to the competition, um, we may be 25% of what the competition is doing while still getting the same type of image quality. Uh, with creating less, less, less radiation. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the movements of the system. Uh, it's a 40, 40 degrees of over rotation and 90 degrees lateral. And you can see the system, every, every movement on this system glides. It, it's, it's effortless. Uh, so it moves very smooth. We got 40, 40 degrees over, 90 degrees lateral. Um, just real, real quickly, we'll talk about the image intensifier. This is a Toshiba II, which is pretty much standard in most CRM systems through the industry. It does have a built-in laser, which I'm going to show you a little bit more once we get to the control panel. Uh, nice big handles for the rad tech to grab onto. Um, the system, just to point out, the system is, I've never seen a CRM system built like this. This is a very robust system. It's very high quality, very durable. It's just, it, it's, been, it's been built very, very well. So if we go to the control panel, the Rad Tech can control every aspect of the live monitor from the tech monitor. So just to take you through some of the features, uh, you can raise the up and down movement of, of the C-arm all, all automatically through here. Uh, you have automatic uh, exposure control, and it will set the right KV and MA. Now, I, I do have hand selected uh, over on the computer system. It selects it at 45 kV and MA. Typically in competitor models, you'd see a much higher kV and MA. Uh, they do that because of the, the two technology. Uh, it produces very high quality X-ray, but produces better image quality and lower radiation, like I talked about a little bit earlier today. Um, you have manual mode, you have low and high. You can take this all the way to 110 kV and seven MA. Um, you have automatic brightness control, you have a uh, nine inch field of view, uh, six inch, 4.5 field of view options. Uh, you can, you know, disable the x-ray if you don't want anybody to hit the floral button. Uh, you have reset, you have uh, noise control. Um, so you have different modes. Uh, you have basically, you have normal floral, burst, burst floral, enhanced uh, floral. Uh, you have uh, 30 frames, Per second, you have 15 frames per second and 10 frames per second. These all help uh, based on how big the, the patient is. These will all help reduce noise and create better image quality. Uh, you have pulse mode and you can go from two to eight in pulse mode. You have vascular, you have road mapping, uh, digital subtraction. Um, you have uh, your image functions where you can you know, uh, flip images rotate images, uh, you got edge. This is a really cool for orthopedics. It, it will outline the bone, especially if you have any metal. It will show you exactly where the metal is protruding. It's a very, very cool function. Uh, you have your, your collimator functions. You have actual lead 
collimators, you have a virtual collimator, uh, so you have a lot of different collimation uh, um, features. Um, settings, I'm just going to quickly show you the laser, laser function. So you can turn the laser, laser on, you come over here, and I mentioned this earlier today, so most C-arms have class 1 lasers, this is actually a class 2. So when you have operating lights and it's a very bright environment, a class two is gonna make a very definitive uh, 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 laser on the body so you can see exactly where it's at. So it's a really nice feature on, on this system having a class two, class two laser. We're gonna move over to uh, the computer station. <laughs> so if we, if we take a good look at the computer station, uh, we have a USB, we have a CD burning, we have two USB ports in the back, we have a washable keyboard and mouse in case you spill anything on there, it cleans up very easily. Uh, we have one terabyte of memory, uh, which will hold about two million images. And if we get into some of the functions of, of the system, uh, these are some of the tools. So you have uh, image rotation, uh, you have uh, image flip, um, you have panning, you have magnified glass, you have your, your drawing tools, your measurement tools. Uh, calibration tools, annotation, you have your collimator, you have DICOM if you want to send images to your PAC system, to your EMR, you can do all that within here. You can print. Um, we're going to get into some of this is the brightness uh, control and contrast. Uh, you have some of your imaging filters. Uh, this is the edge one. It's not a really perfect picture to show it, but it, you see how it will outline the bone. And if you had some metal protruding, it would show you where exactly where it's at, like a hand or something would show, show much better. Um, you have your studies, you have the media outlet. Um, so if you look up here and you see this, this, this button here that says ready. So you hit ready. This is a very useful um, tool for, for, for all the end users. So you hit the ready and everything in the, at the beginning of every day, everything should have a check mark. If it doesn't have a check mark, it means you have a problem and an error will pop up. So if you have a X on the camera, you know you have a problem with the camera. If you have a communication X, you have a communication problem. So when you call us up, uh, you say, hey, uh, you know, I, I, I checked my system status today. There's an X on the communication. So at that point, what we would do is we would remote access into the system. We dial into the system and we look right at the communication uh, connection of the system. A lot of times we can fix, fix things through the internet connection. Uh, if for some reason we can't, we can pinpoint exactly what's wrong, what board is bad, overnight a board to your facility. And when our engineer shows up the next day, they can replace the board and you're back up and running. Uh, having remote diagnostic is a very important tool in this day and age for C-arms. It definitely speeds up uptime uh, and elim eliminates a lot of troubleshooting prior to us getting to, the, to, to your facility. Um, uh, these are all your studies will be stored. If you ever do want to do a quick emergency study, you hit that. You select the anatomy of the body. Uh, you would select this and then you'd automatically be ready to go. It sets the right KV and MA, and, and you're, you're ready to start taking shots. And I just want to say thank you for your time today. I'll do a, a more, uh, more, uh, more series of videos and kind of dive in deeper to some of the more important aspects of the system. Until then, thank you very much, and I look forward to working with you.